Hello people of YouTube, this is my ball python care video. I do not actually own a ball python at this moment, but um, I'm getting one this upcoming weekend at a reptile show, and I've already set up my terrarium and have done plenty of research, so I, um, I'm going to make this video of what I've learned so far. Um, a ball python can live its entire life in a 20 gallon log, which is what size this is, I recommend getting a tank with a sliding, latching lid to prevent escapes. Substrate, I am using Repti carpet on t um, underneath aspen bedding. Aspen bedding is really easy to spot clean, um, whereas Repti carpet is not. The Repti carpet I use because it prevents any burns from your under tank heater. They can still be cooked on the under tank heater, like if it really overheats, but it prevents any sudden burns. Um, I have my under tank heater and my small 60 watt ceramic heat emitter attached to a Rep D temp thermostat from Sumed. You can see it right there. It works really well. It's keeping my warm end about 88 to 90 and my cool end about 75 to 85, which is perfect for corn snakes. Now the temperature does not have to drop at night if you don't want to like have to reset your thermostat every day. It um it can stay exactly the same and it'll be fine. Water I recommend using a glass or ceramic dish because it's heavy, um, big enough to hold your entire ball python in. That's about the right size. Um, they really shouldn't soak that much, but they do like to soak now and then. For lighting, I recommend fluorescent lighting, just because it doesn't produce any heat. Um, and also, it won't hurt the snake. It's actually good for the snake's mental well-being. I bought this housing for 6 bucks at Walmart, and I'm just using an old Repti Sun bulb from, that used to be used for my bearded dragon, but is now too old to use for my bearded dragon. And it's working really well. As you can see, it makes a very nice glow. Feeding, I recommend frozen thawed or fresh kill just to prevent bites and stuff like that. Um, monitor your, humidi you, your humidity. It should stay about 60 to 70 percent. Mine's really low right now because uh, there's no ball python in here so I just haven't bothered to keep the humidity up. But once my ball python is in here I will keep the humidity up. Um, let's see, anything else I need to tell you? I'm not going to provide any like ball python size and stuff information about how big they get because you should do enough research to know this already. Not to be rude, but um, this is just tips to add to what you've already learned. It is not to live off of. Um, I recommend using digital probe gauges like these where you stick the screen on the outside and the probe goes down inside. They're very accurate. I use them on all of my terrariums except my corn snake, um, as you can see from my corn snake video. And they work really, really well. This one, the temperature's a little low right now, and I imagine... Yep, see the green light? That means that the thermostat is working. It turns on when it turns the devices on, and off when the devices go off, so you know whether it's regulating the temperature properly. Um, if you have any questions, comment on the video, um, any requests, and if I don't know the answer to your question, I will research and find out. Um, so I will not just give you some random answer to make myself sm sound smart. I will research it until I find the correct answer. If you have any requests for more videos, let me know, and I'll make them. Um, one last thing I recommend is if you find any online care sheets that you really like, print them out, like I've done, and put them in a three-ring binder, and then instead of buying a care book, you have one built in. Also, I recommend, see if I can move some stuff so you can see it, going to your library, picking up some books on ball pythons, um, looking at some magazines. This one has ball pythons on the cover. Um, there's a website that you really ought to go to. That's um, reptileuv.com. It's a really good website. Also, reptilechannel.com is a good website for researching any reptile, although their ball python sheet is really short. I have several ball python care sheets here. So any more um, questions that you'd like to, to ask, comment, I will answer and subscribe. 
and I will make a ball, ball python handling and feeding video once I have my ball python. Um, so thanks for watching, and I will make more videos soon. Bye!